बहुत लोग बोलते हैं कि सर मैं इंग्लिश जब बोलता हूँ ना तो समझ में नहीं आता कि मैं इंग्लिश करेक्टली कैसे बोलू तो आज हम लोग सीखेंगे इंग्लिश आप करेक्टली कैसे बोलोगे विद द हेल्प ऑफ वर्ब पार्टनरशिप सो अभी तक हमने सीखा एक वर्ब को आप सेवन फॉर्म्स में कैसे डिवाइड करोगे आज हम सीखेंगे ये सेवन फॉर्म्स को आप जब इंग्लिश में बात करोगे तो कैसे यूज करोगे सो वेलकम टू दिस अमेजिंग प्रोग्राम और इसमें आज हम आपको बताएंगे हाउ टू स्पीक इंग्लिश हंड्रेड परसेंट करेक्ट टूडे आई विल गिव यू four secrets which will help you to speak english correctly are you ready let's go ahead the first secret is please the first secret is whenever you have a b verb after b verb if there is any verb that verb has to be present participle agar b verb ke baad kabhi bhi koi bhi verb aata hai उससे प्रेजेंट पार्टिसिपल होना पड़ेगा दिस इज अ फर्स्ट फॉर्मूला अब नाउ बी वर्ड इज बी वर्ड इज एम आर वॉज वर्ड देर आर सो मेनी बी वर्ड कोई भी आ जाए कोई भी बी वर्ड आ जाए एनी बी वर्ड कम्स द नेक्स्ट वर्ड हैज टू बी प्रेजेंट पार्टिसिपल फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई एम गोइंग टू स्कूल आई एम गोइंग टू स्कूल हाउ मेनी वर्ब टू वर्ब द फर्स्ट वर्ड इज एम आफ्टर एम Going, so M is the B verb, and after B verb it is going. I N G present participle. So guys, as per formula, this is a right fit. Are you getting this? It is a right fit. After M, I N G. It is a right fit. So sentence is grammatically correct. Let's go to secret number two. Whenever you have the verb have. H A V E have. If you have the verb have, the next verb has to be past participle. The next verb has to be past participle. मतलब अगर have verb होता है, have मतलब had, has कोई भी हो. If there is have verb, the next verb has to be past participle. For example, I have came to my class. Please listen to me. I have came to my class. I have came to my class. How many verbs have and came? C A M E came. Fine. Now have. Who should be the member of have after have? Who? Kis ko aana chahiye? Past participle. Now, what is that word? Came. Came is past, not past participle. So after have, past is sitting. It is right fit or wrong fit? It is a wrong fit. It has to be past participle. And what is the past participle of come? Come. So the right sentence is I have come. I have come. After have, it should be past participle. Just imagine, guys, if you have this formula ready in your mind, you will never speak English wrong. Okay, let's go for the third secret. Whenever you use do verb, the next verb, the second verb will be mother form. What is mother form? You all know. Mother form, base form. For example, if I tell you, I did not went to college. Please listen to me. I did not went to college. How many verbs? Did, went, did, went, did. Did is the member of do family. Fine. So after do, who can sit? Mother form. But who is sitting? Went. Went is not the mother form. Went is the past form. That means this sentence is wrong. I did not go. Is the right answer because go is the mother form. And after do, we always make mother form. Please, अच्छे से समझो. अगर नहीं समझ रहे हो तो फिर से repeat सुनो इसको. Do verb कहीं पर भी आता है ना. After do verb अगर कोई भी verb है, it has to be mother form. चाहे कुछ भी हो जाए. Did go. Does go, do go, do है तो उसके बगल में go हो गई मतलब mother form हो गई I do love my country. Please listen to me. I do love my country. Do love, love is the mother form. Done. Just imagine this verb partnership will make your life easy. Okay, let's go for the fourth secret. That is after modal verbs. You know modal verbs? Will, shall, can, could, may, might. 
ऑट टू दीज ऑल आर मॉडल वर्ब इसके बारे में और पढ़ेंगे बाद में कभी ठीक है एनी मॉडल वर्ब कम्स द नेक्स्ट वर्ब हैज टू बी मदर फॉर फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई विल टेस्ट द डिश मैं उस डिश को टेस्ट करूंगा आई विल विल इज मॉडल वर्ब एंड आफ्टर दैट टेस्ट टी एस टी टेस्ट टेस्ट इज मदर फॉर्म इट इज अ राइट सेंटेंस बिकॉज आफ्टर मदर आफ्टर will mother is there i can do this can is the modal verbs and after can i can do this do is there mother form just imagine if you know this four formulas you can speak any sentence for example the last sentence i'm giving you you have to tell this sentence is correct or not okay i will have done my homework how many verbs are there kitne verbs hai yahan pe teen verb hai will have done Will is the first verb. Who is the member of will? Will का कौन है partner? Mother form. I will have. Have is mother form. So this is a right fit. I will have done my homework. This is a right fit. Okay. Now let's go to the second verb. Okay. Second verb is have. Who is the member of have family? Past participle. So I will have done. So after have done is there. Done is what? Done is a past participle. So after have done is there. It is also a right fit. So if verbs are right fit. सेंटेंस इज राइट अगर आप इंग्लिश के ये टेक्निक जानोगे आपके लिए लाइफ काफी इजी हो जाएगी चलो मैं एक होमवर्क देता हूं आपको ही विल हैज टेकन हिज ब्रेकफास्ट प्लीज लिसन टू मी ही विल हैज एच एस हैज टेकन हिज ब्रेकफास्ट आई वॉन्ट योर आंसर इन द कमेंट सेक्शन आई विल सी and i will check you will write the sentence and also say how many verbs are there and what are the partnerships there and then you will finally tell that sentence is grammatically right or not i will check each and every answer okay please understand if there are four verbs then hame check karna hai iske sath iska partnership verb 1 to verb 2 partnership fir verb 2 ke sath verb 3 ka partnership then verb 3 ke sath verb 4 ka partnership it is a game of partnership and i told you verb is so important if the verbs are correctly sitting in your sentence you will speak english absolutely correct guys have you enjoyed today's session have you really learned something amazing because if you follow these secrets this four secrets nobody can put finger on your english language koi aap pe ungli nahi uthayega this is so damn important i am telling you this with lot of conviction because ये चार सीक्रेट्स ने मेरी लाइफ को चेंज कर दी टूडे आई नो वेन आई स्पीक इंग्लिश आई एम स्पीकिंग ग्रामेटिकली करेक्ट आई थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर योर सपोर्ट इफ यू रियली लाइक दिस सेशन प्लीज शेयर विथ योर फ्रेंड्स उनको भी हेल्प करो और हमें भी थोड़ा हेल्प करो एंड सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल सो दैट वी बोथ grow in our life so guys thank you very much swash so karthik is signing off and i'm going to meet you again in my next video and that's going to change something in your english communication thank you bye bye